Hi everyone, I'm Rachel with Limbal's product team. Today, we're going to be talking about Limbal's work request system. Work requests allow anyone in your organization, even those without a Limbal account, to request maintenance work. The work request portal acts as a digital ticketing system, allowing you to keep track of incoming requests, communicate with requesters as needed, and manage work based on the priority of work requests against other maintenance work. You'll also eliminate the need for paper ticketing, creating one source of truth that keeps everything in one system without having to worry about following up through different communication channels. Limbal offers lots of customization options within the work request system to meet the unique needs of each organization. It's also incredibly easy to set up. Depending on your permissions and plan with Limbal, some of your screens may be different than mine. If you have any questions, reach out to our support team or talk to your CSM. Let's get started. Before we dive into the how-to, let's talk about the benefits of our work request system. First, your maintenance team will receive better information with more detail from requesters. The work request portal requires the requester to include details about the work they're asking to get done. Second, maintenance tickets will have improved organization. You can configure settings to organize work requests by problem type, priority, or asset. This way, you decide what needs to get done and when you need to do it. Third, your maintenance team will have fewer interruptions. Instead of having to track down a member of your maintenance team to tell them about a problem, requesters can use the work request portal. In fact, it's a best practice to inform members of your organization that work cannot be completed unless it is first submitted as a work request. To keep communication open, you can configure settings to notify a requester of the status of their request and let them know when the work is completed. You can also use task comments to communicate directly with a requester about the task. The last and arguably one of the most important benefits is that work requests live alongside all other work in Limbal. Once a task is created from a request, it's treated like any other task. Because work requests live within the same system as your other work in Limbal, the work history will be logged alongside your preventative maintenance work. This means you'll have a comprehensive view of which assets may be draining resources or require a better preventative maintenance plan. Let's take a look at how to configure a work request portal. Navigate to the Setup and Configure Work Requests page by clicking on the caution icon from the navigation menu. On the page, you will see each location has its own portal. If you click on the URL next to a work request portal, it will show you what the work request portal looks like for that location. By default, the requester will be required to name the request and describe the issue. Optionally, they can provide their name, email address, tag the asset, and add a picture or document. Let's go back to the work request page and discuss how to configure and customize this portal. To customize the work request portal, select the pencil icon under the configuration header. In the new window, we have several options to customize the work request portal. We'll cover advanced options in another video, but let's take a look at some of the basic settings you can change based on your organization's needs. First is the work request assignment. By default, work requests are assigned to the manager, but can be changed to a different user or team by clicking on the blue text. When a user is assigned to review the work request, they'll be notified via email. Clicking the word email will open up a new window where you can customize the template for the email that the assignee will receive about the work request. They'll receive an in-app notification about the work request regardless of their notification settings, but we do recommend keeping email notifications on to be notified of requests. You can also send an automatic confirmation email to the requester when the work request is submitted by enabling or disabling send work request confirmation email. The email template can also be edited by clicking the blue email text. It's important to note that enabling the send work request confirmation email only notifies the requester when the work request is submitted. The requester will always receive an email when the request has been completed. There is a large list of placeholders that can be used to tell the assignee more about the work request. You can opt to enable or disable sharing comments with the work requester by checking the box any comments made on the work request will be shared with the person who made the original ticket. To disable this, 
uncheck the box. The other options allow you to decide what information you do or do not need from a work requester. By expanding the list of options for any of these fields, you have three choices. Hide will hide the field from the work request form. Show will show the field in the work request form, but is not required for the requester to fill out. And finally, show and require work requester to answer will require the user to fill out a field to submit their request. If you want to replicate your work request settings for more than one location, click Copy Settings, and from the expanded list of options, click on your desired location. In the new window, confirm your changes by clicking Yes. Once you've created your work request portal, you'll need to give access to members of your organization. There are a few ways to do this. The first option is with the URL. You can include the link in the signature of your email, ask your IT department to put the link on the company intranet or site, or ask members of your organization to save or bookmark the link. The other option is a QR code. Post the work request QR code near your assets or in a space that members in your organization often use, like a break room, main office, or announcement bulletin board. We cover how to print QR codes in another video. Now that you know how to configure your work request portal and share it with members of your organization, let's see what the work request process could look like. A member of my organization noticed a broken bulb in the employee lounge. The work request portal is posted in the employee lounge so they can scan it with their phone and are taken to the work request form. They're asked to add a title. Here, they might say, burnout bulb in the employee lounge. Next, they need to fill out the description. They might say something like, the bulb directly above the sink is burnout. I saw this around 3 p.m. on Tuesday. The title and description might seem redundant, but because the requester added more details to the description, the technician also will know when the problem may have started. Next, the requester will add their name and email address. Since sharing comments is enabled, the requester will receive email notifications when comments are made on their request. Then, the requester will choose where or what is having the problem. When they click on this, your asset list for that location will appear in a new window. Then, they'll click Select to confirm their choice. Last, they can add a picture. This is one of the most loved features of the work request form because, as the saying goes, a picture is worth a thousand words. The requester may not have the same maintenance speak as your technicians, so adding a picture can give your team a better idea of the problem. The user would click Add Picture slash Document and take a photo or choose one from their library. When the photo is uploaded, they can draw on the photo or crop it. Once the information has been added, the user would click Submit. Since the confirmation email is enabled in My Settings, the work requester will automatically receive an email that their work request has been received. Since I'm assigned to work requests for this location, I receive an email and in-app notification about the work request. I can either open the task directly from the notification or review it in my tasks from the Manage Work page on desktop or in my open tasks on mobile. When I open the task, I see the description of the request, the requester's information, and the photo they provided. I'll add a comment by clicking on add picture slash comment and say that I'll be heading to the employee lounge in an hour and can fix it then. The requester receives an email with this update and my comment is added to the log. If they respond to the email, their response will also be added to the comment log. Once I complete the work, the user will receive an email that the request has been fulfilled. Thanks so much for watching. If you have additional questions, visit our help center, reach out to our support team, or talk to your CSM to learn more.